Giant salvinia, an aquatic plant native to Brazil, continues to plague waterways across Louisiana and other southern states. Researchers with the LSU Ag Center and other government agencies are putting weevils into infested areas to help slow the spread of the plant. We bring the weevils, the adult and larval stage of the weevils, out into the field where there's natural infestations with little to no weevil activity there. And so it's a natural way to control the giant salvinia infestation. Using weevils as a biological control has worked in Australia, but the population of weevils must reach a certain level to be effective. Wall's research indicates there should be 30 weevils per kilogram of salvinia to get some form of control. Once you get above 30 is when you see a, a definite browning of the ponds and you see plant quality decreasing, the production of new, new buds decreasing as well. Wall estimates the number of weevils in the rearing pond at around 70 weevils per kilogram of salvinia. While other insects do feed on salvinia, the weevil is the only one that will actually kill the plant. The weevil will cut off the flow of nutrients in the plant, killing it as opposed to the samia are just eating the green leaves and that's not enough to cut off the flow of energy and produce new leaves. Researchers have conducted weevil releases in the past, but their survival has been hampered by cold weather experienced in the northern hemisphere. It also takes time for the weevils to establish themselves in new environments. The big thing is time. You need, you need to have time and be patient enough for them to to increase population to the size of effective control of giant salvinia. The weevils are being reared in quarter acre ponds. Each pond is capable of filling nearly 800 totes, which contain a large number of weevils. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.